Why is compressing time so important to your stories, and how can it help you keep audience attention and interest? The answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. One of the biggest challenges I see when I'm listening to stories, whether it's in keynotes, sales talks, or even networking events, is that people's stories drag on far too long. They typically have way too much information. One of the most important storytelling concepts I've learned is this idea of compressed time. What does that mean? It means taking the details of a story, which may go over several hours or even days or weeks, and compressing them into one quick narrative. For example, I've shared the story of 1994 being in my boss's office. I was a certified financial planner, and he was giving me a lot of negative reviews about my workshops that I'd been doing. They weren't good. That was the incident in my life that actually got me into learning more about public speaking and set me on this new road of a career. The way I tell the story today, it's compressed into just a few minutes. The reality is, this was a meeting that took about two hours, and that conversation was only one part of the overall meeting. It was the end of a long one-to-one -one review meeting. And if you've heard the story, you know, I was in, my job was at, at stake. I had to do something to fix my poor presentation skills. But I didn't tell every detail of the two-hour meeting. Audiences wouldn't stay with me. They'd get bored. I'd get bored telling it. The idea of compressing your story is to to talk about those key moments, introduce the situation, escalate the conflict to the point of resolution or where some action had to be taken, talk about your reaction to that negative situation, and then transition into your story of how you succeeded or overcame the obstacle. Don't give us all the back and forth conversation that doesn't push the story forward. That's how you compress your story. Audiences will love you for it. If you think about the best stories you've heard in presentations or speeches, they're compressed. You may not know that that incident actually took place over hours, days, or weeks. The storyteller was so gifted that she shortened it for you to make her point and then move on to the next point. Do this and you can get the same result with your audiences. They will love your stories and they'll want to hear more. Talk to you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.